Hi and welcome to another part of The Sims 4 Love Struck. Welcome to the third part. Basically, I'm starting off from where I left off. He was sleeping, I fast forwarded it, and now it's almost time for his first day of work. He has about an hour until he starts his first day. He needs to use the bathroom really quick and then also take a quick shower and i actually want to see if this shower works because when i got this apartment the shower was already built like this with the sliding door and the wall just didn't have like this sh this shower part in here and that is such a cool way to do a custom shower so I, that's so cute that's so cute you can do like a big shower instead of having like a half bath half shower and he gonna wear his hat inside the shower yes he is he don't care <laughs> okay so his first day starts in 20 minutes it does give me like the option to work from home and then also go to work like it does for all the jobs maybe one day we'll work from home but we're going to work today so that we can get our promotions as quick as possible we did like an early work assignment by watching telenovelas, but we didn't study modern love. We don't even have a computer, so maybe, hopefully, once he gets his paycheck today, maybe we can buy a computer. If we buy a computer, it's pro we're probably going to be broke afterwards. Or I have like a custom content tablet, so let me see how much that is. Maybe he can get that and study using that. Oh, it's 500 I think this is the cheapest one that i have it's 500 somalians i don't know maybe not and then also let me check the bills really quick because i need to know how much these bills are about to be okay that's not too bad 345 he has five minutes left to work so it's time for him to basically go this is his little work fit i might change it like so he's not wearing the hat but this is the the fit he has his little teal shirt on nothing crazy have a good day have a good day son <laughs> what well, he's already tense Zachel's calling us oh she's said hey leo mitchell kalani has asked me out on a date should i say yes i don't even know mitchell kalani so girl think about it yourself like he's tense oh okay <laughs> um i never really have out loves outdoor sims it says this sim needs to spend some time outdoors soon to relieve this tension maybe living in the city wasn't the best thing for him since he loves the outdoors maybe he should have got like a little starter home with a yard but it's fine it's fine because we have this whole entire area outside and then we have the upstairs maybe we will take one of the girls that we met on the dating app on a date and take them to like the park or something so you can get to know them and also feel a little less tense because i do want to go on a date right after work since he gets off at five you know what we're gonna go ahead and do this for just a little bit so that he can maybe meet somebody or some people because he only knows valentina while he's doing that i do want to take a look at his romance skill because for some reason i did not realize he even got that skill um i think it was when he was watching the telenovelas i don't know if i still have it in here leo learned about valentina's financial status and valentina's seems to be doing okay okay great can you lend us some money no <laughs> JK, she's charismatic. Um okay so here's a little introduction to attraction it says at a glance leo has a neutral attraction to valentina sims become attracted or unattracted to others based on their turn-ons and turn-offs sims will recognize some turn-ons and turn-offs instantly like those dealing with colors or fashion others turn-ons and turn-offs will require sims to learn more about each other before causing attraction to change okay that's all i guess i deleted the message about him like getting the romance skill but for the romance skill he is on level two romance skill can be improved through most romantic interactions romantic or flirty interactions including new ones that they gain with this skill anyone can be romantic but soon these sims will exude a romance romance sims will find that they succeed more often in matters of the heart because i guess 
it is true i i mean i romance is low-key a little bit of a skill in real life people can be bad at woohoo people can be good at woohoo people can be bad at flirting people can be good at flirting so i think it is interesting skill and then i do want to look at his aspirations the paragon partner this is what i was talking about when i said that it didn't seem like it was like a long aspiration at all literally it has one i don't know what do you even call this one challenge you just have to um, discuss romantic boundaries with someone have two or more partners have two or more very satisfied relationship i don't know if this is at the same time or what but we'll have to see uh, go on three dates with the partners them and then the romantic explorer which is the other aspiration that came with love struck has three categories to go through which this will take a lot longer to complete it talks about achieving like romance skill going on get to know you dates use the romantic blanket three times for romance share food two times form 25 romantic gestures with a partner sim i was gonna do this like focus on the romantic explorer with one set sim and then the paragon partner i'm just gonna try to tick off as much as i can yeah i think that's fine i think it'll work out so that's what i was talking about with the aspirations i think that I can complete both with the Paragon Partner one. The reward trait is Affection Aficionado. Affection Aficionado Sims have slower romantic satisfaction loss of relationships with other Sims. The re reward trait for this is Season Romantic. Season Romantic Sims find their romantic relationships with other Sims grows faster. They also get over embarrassment faster since they know that you don't need to be embarrassed when it comes to love. Okay. When he comes home, he's going to look at Cupid's Corner and see if there's anything new going on and then i do want to take this skylar girl on a little date she is a jealous sim so i don't know how that's gonna go we'll see or actually maybe we should take willow since we're attracted to her she's a vegetarian too i feel like the park would be a good date for her right and then maybe tomorrow <laughs> the next day we can go on a date with Skylar to like the lounge to get a couple of drinks or something that might be a vibe I am gonna text Skylar and get to know her a little bit though but let me fast forward through all of this so this is Becca Clark we met her at the nightclub yesterday she said hey Leo been going through some stuff lately do you mind if I come over and stay for a while at your place I just want to get away from things for a few days give myself time to process everything girl we just moved to the city yesterday we just met you yesterday i'm sorry but i can't let you stay here you're a leech <laughs> okay i'm actually before i forget i'm going to oh we can send flirty selfies now before it was just send text and chat as the only options but now we can send flirty selfies get to know flirt and discuss interests which it low-key should have always been like that i'm gonna go ahead we sent her a text already in the first part i believe so i'm gonna go ahead and get to know her and then maybe discuss interest a little bit let's open up cupid's corner and see what's going on over there oh he caught her oops i thought he was gonna send her a get to know you text i didn't mean to call her up and be like hey tell me about yourself no it didn't seem like it went well because it's i saw the the minus relationship thing on there there's skylar let's refresh we have hajar at least perfectionist sims are kind of annoying but she's family oriented she's an adult so she's probably gonna want to have a baby immediately we have a riley she's an overachiever but she's also non-committal um so we're gonna skip her raya she's a slob that's a turn off for leo and she's a glutton so she's greedy <laughs> carrie is non-committal but cheerful we looking for love um maybe we will you know see because she has a fish in her hand we like nature so maybe her other trait is that she likes nature claudia uh she's materialistic and a party animal well she can't be materialistic with us because we literally have 300 simoleons to our name saori she's lazy so no we have gretchen she's family oriented and self-assured um and she's young adult let's save her 
and then I'll add her to my contacts. She's catching my eye. And we'll, I'm, you know, at first, I'm gonna just save them and keep them in there for a little bit and see how these dates go first, first of all. Okay, let's send a text to Willow. What's the difference between create date and ask on date? I don't know. But, you know, he sent her a text basically saying like, hey, like we matched on Cupid's Corner. I do really want to get to know you better, but I want to see you face to face. I don't want to do all this texting back and forth. Let's let's actually, you know, have a sit down conversation without our phones, without distractions. <laughs> okay. Let's see what this means. Skiba Daesh Branka Quex Harfin. Oh, Harfin would Okay. So now, which honestly, this should have always been a thing to schedule dates as like events, but now it looks like we can schedule a date as an event and we can do a get to know you date, which is really, really nice. And then we can also do a romantic date. That's kind of nice. Okay, yeah, that's cute. So a get to know you date, it says maybe sparks will fly or maybe the flames will fizzle out. It's time to uncover whether there's potential for romance between your sims by getting to know each other better. Or maybe your sims are already head over heels and a casual date is just what they need to deepen their bond it's bound to be an unforgettable adventure okay this is cool so you could probably do like create a hangout and like do get to know hangout and then i don't know friendly hangout or something we're gonna have to create a hangout too one of these days so yes she's our date i might make her make her over a little bit because I, I don't know what she's wearing but we'll see we can't even invite a guest no we're not having no three's a crowd okay Ooh, so we can pick some activities. So I really don't know what is at the park. I probably maybe should have looked, but we're gonna say socialize and be friendly, be a little bit of romantic, and I don't know. I would say food, but I don't. I don't know what's there. There might be that food stand there, but I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it. All right, we're gonna just keep it simple for now. I would say fish. The park should have fishing. I wanna see, let's see. No, I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna keep it simple and do socialize, uh, be friendly and socialize, be romantic. And we'll see what's there when we get there. Oh, we have to do three activities. Star or cloud gaze, let's do that. That'll be nice and romantic. All right, and then we're gonna go to the park. This is Media Media Naranja in the Plaza Mariposa, that kind of central area of Ciudad and Amarada. And let's go. Sheesh. Oh, yeah. Willow don't know what she's wearing. She look different. You're a cat. <gasps> is she a catfish? Wait, let me change his clothes really quick. Let's act like we was already dressed like this. Cause nobody got no time. I'll just put something casual. Miss Bam, you don't look like the pictures. She's not ugly though. I mean, she does look like the pictures, except she just has something different on. Okay, she came here with a little crop top and booty shorts. <laughs> yeah, okay, all natural. We said we liked a natural girl. We like a girl who. It's a turn on for him, apparently. So let's go ahead and do some small talk. Be like, hey. So I guess we can end date abruptly, ask to extend date, end date cheerfully, ask how date going, and ask to change the venue, which is cool too. I'm weak, not check out. I, I just want to see what the interaction. I hope that don't put her off like, like girl you look good she like i know oh she didn't like that okay um i don't know if she liked to shoot it's giving me mixed messages so let's go ahead and ask her about her day 
let's go ahead and get to know a little bit and then talk about the hot temperature and cloudy weather and discuss interest it's like where are you coming from what you been doing today it's a real cloudy one but it's it's really hot <laughs> i don't know uh he found out she's a dog lover so i think that was the last trait oh she has a solid personality actually she's vegetarian romantic and a dog lover what's the not like for real here's cassandra goth all right he's feeling really tense he wants to stay outside for eight hours dang we're gonna have to do that on a different day oh wait wait, wait. i must see can we just put like this blanket down here we're not gonna do anything on it i believe you can woohoo on this thing but we're just we're just gonna watch the sky actually let's go ahead set up a picnic put some blts on here i think he's hungry too anyway yeah they're gonna have a little picnic and then um look at the sky he is not in a good mood I don't know why she wore that to our date, but I guess he's not wearing anything crazy either. Let's ask her, what does she do for work? And then share some of his love insights, you know, why he decided to get on Cupid's Corner, what, what's his love, his thoughts on love, I guess. And then I want to watch this guy with her. I take screenshots. So I, I'm gonna do that. Oh, you can have probably a couple people in here then. I guess I think we're gonna watch this guy. She's very uncomfortable. Okay. They're both not having the time. Why is she uncomfortable? She might have to use the bathroom or something. Let's enthuse about the outdoors. He can ask her to wear a flirty costume. Uh, they're not getting along. They're not getting along. I don't even know what else to say. So loyal, like a golden retriever. It looks like Leo just befriended a pet enthusiast. Pet enthusiasts just can't get enough of their animal companions and care a lot about the well-being of fuzzy little friends of the world. In terms of sim preferences, would you say that Leo likes pet enthusiasts? Sure. I want to like brighten her day or something. Let's ask her to cloud gaze. This. This date was horrible. He wants to small talk a little bit. Let's see. Okay, she's feeling a little bit better. He's gonna go ahead and share some personal details. F it. Share some personality quirks. And let's throw a little flirt in there since she's feeling good. How do you talk about star watching? Let's ask her how the date's going. Alright, I don't know how to talk about star sky watching. I wish I did, but I don't. I'm gonna have to look that up. Hmm. Okay, they're good friends now. Okay, they're actually hitting it off pretty well. And it's 10 o'clock. 
This date has gone on for five hours. Okay. Let's go ahead and maybe Ooh, we can extra wear couples costumes. I think we already complimented her appearance. Let's do a little pickup line. Let's see where that goes. Alright, it's getting really late, so I think I'm gonna end this day. It's a shame that they literally started getting flirty at the very end, but we should have got her flowers or something. Okay, maybe next time. This is our get to know you date. I am gonna go ahead and end the day. Or actually, let's let's uh, give her like a. Oh. It looked like their relationship was about to go down, but apparently it was a it was a good moment. Leo and Willow have a strong romantic relationship while now each have independent romantic satisfaction levels. High romantic satisfaction will make maintaining romantic relationships easier. Low romantic satisfaction will make maintaining romantic relationship more difficult. It's like a suggestive relationship, you know, it's... The relationship is not defined yet. They're not like girlfriend or boyfriend or anything. <laughs> Of course, but we're going to embrace and then we're going to end the date. But, you know, I guess they hit it off. Cool. And then we're going to end the date cheerfully. It was nice to meet you. All right. That was harder than I thought. So we hit something on this Paragon partner. Go on three dates with a partner sim. I guess she's considered a partner now. I don't know how. She's unemployed. She don't have no job. Girl, we gonna get you a job. Okay, now they have amazing compatibility. Before it was just good. Let me open up her profile. I guess they're lovers now. After one date, they're lovers. Yeah, she need a makeover. Because she's not even ugly. She's cute. So she just need a little makeover. And then they have the same sentiments for each other. They both adore each other. So that's cute she's he said oh he has romantic feelings about willow he's attracted and satisfied i guess we probably sh have to ask willow if about her satisfaction and if she's attracted to us okay yay honestly watch this guy he did watch this guy maybe he has to he has to say watch this guy and not watch the stars all right, we're gonna go home because he has some needs to take care of. They've been back here being romantic our whole entire time here. Who are these people? The prices, they're not even from this pack. They're sitting over here watching the stars being romantic. And then I'll read this when we get back to our home lot. We're back at home, but we got a little reward from our date. It says, it may not have been fire, but it sure was a sweet date. There's a gift in your son's household inventory, so better remember it. And then it just tells us how to get there. It's the lots of love bear. Okay, that's something he might like and put in his crazy room. All right, he's gonna come get his little teddy bear. Anybody, any girl that he brings home is gonna think like, He's a softie with this freaking bear and room. <laughs> All right, he's gonna use the bathroom. He's still not having any fun, which I mean, he is broke, so he don't really have that much at home to entertain him. We're just gonna come over here and and watch telenovelas, and then after that, we're gonna go ahead to bed. And I will see y'all in the morning. If not, that will be the end of this. Part. I hope you guys enjoyed 